So Fortnite Chapter 2 finally came out yesterday, and to my surprise, they've actually done a great job with the new map. It's bigger, it's better, and it feels like a completely new game. However, with a bigger map comes more terrain, buildings and other objects to load, which obviously means that your performance has probably dropped since last season. Don't worry though, I've tried my best to compile a list of working steps, test them, and record them so I can get this video out as soon as possible. So without further ado, here's how to boost your FPS and fix lag in Fortnite Chapter 2. I'm Skids, and you're watching Explicit Tutorials. So before we start, you want to go into the description down below to download the Fortnite Chapter 2 FPS Boost Pack by ET as it will contain everything you need to do the steps in the video. Once you download it, extract it and you can proceed to the next step. So for the first step, you want to go into the FPS Boost Pack and find the CPU Core Parking folder. Here you want to install the application and once you're inside, you want to set all the CPU sliders to 100%. This will make all your CPU power available to your computer and it'll unpark all your cores. Moving on to the next step, you want to go into the FPS Boost Pack and click on the Run command. Here you want to type in percent %10% and once you're inside this folder, you want to delete everything that you find inside. If anything gives you errors, just skip it. And don't worry, none of this will cause any issues with your PC. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and repeat the same step, but instead of typing percent %10%, type temp without the percent signs. So now, within the FPS Boost Pack, you want to really quickly click the full screen command, select yes, and select ok. Now, you want to go into the system configuration, and under the first tab, you want to select Selective Startup, Load Startup Items and Load System Services. Under the Boot tab, you want to select No GUI Boot and go to Advanced Options. Here you want to tick the number of processors and select the maximum amount available. For me, it's 4. Moving on to the Services tab, you want to tick Hide All Microsoft Services and you want to disable anything that you don't use. For example, some of the Razer Game Manager features I never use on my PC, so I'll just disable them. Moving on to the Startup tab, you want to disable everything that launches on Startup. You don't really need anything to launch when your PC also launches, you can just do it yourself and it costs a lot of performance on your PC. So for this step, when inside the FPS Boost Pack, open the text file and then open the run command and type in regedit. Now you want to select the high priority path copy it and paste it into the top of the box in Regedit. This will take you straight to the place that we need you to go and then you can follow the video for the steps. Do the same thing for all of the steps that require Regedit. You can follow the video or you can also just do it yourself with the instructions listed in the notepad.
Once you're done with regedit, you want to navigate to the run command and type in gpedit.msc. Here, you want to go to administrative templates, Windows components, and then OneDrive. Double click disable usage of OneDrive for file storage, enable and apply the changes. Moving on, go into your search bar and type in power plan. Once you're in here, you want to select the option that reads ultimate performance. But if you're like me and you don't have that option, don't worry, go into the FPS boost pack. In the run command, you want to type in CMD. Now in here, you want to copy the last code from the text document. Once you've done that, go back to the same page and you should have the ultimate performance plan there as an option. Select it and exit. Moving into the next step, you want to find the CCleaner folder and install the application. Once you've installed it, you want to open it up and under the Cleaner tab, click Analyze. Once it's done analyzing, you want to run Cleaner. But as you can see, I just ran it a second ago, so it didn't detect anything in here. Now you want to go into the registry tab, scan for issues and if it finds any you want to select fix selected issues and it will fix them right for you. Once you're done with that you can exit and you can even uninstall the application. So this step is for Nvidia users only, so you want to navigate to the Nvidia profile inspector folder and you want to click on the Nvidia profile inspector application. Once it's opened up you want to find the option that reads frame rate limiter mode you want to double click it and select it to the frame rate limiter 2 control delay flip by flip metering. Click apply changes and exit the program. Moving into the next step you want to find this PC and on the left side right click it and go to properties. Here you want to click advanced system settings then settings and under the visual effects tab you want to adjust for best performance. Under advanced you want to set to adjust for best performance of programs and click change. In here you want to set everything but your boot drive to none and your boot drive to system managed. If you don't know which is your boot drive, it's the one that has windows installed on it. Next you want to find your epic games folder, go to fortnite, fortnite game, binaries and then win64 and in here you want to find the 4 applications with the fortnite logos on them and you want to right click, go to properties, in compatibility you want to disable full screen optimizations, click change high dpi settings and override high dpi scaling behavior scaling performed by application. Do the same step for all four of the applications in here. Now this next step is for NVIDIA users only, so if you have an AMD graphics card, skip this. So for NVIDIA users, go to your desktop, right click it and click NVIDIA control panel. Once you're inside, you want to adjust image settings with preview, click use my preference emphasizing and drag the slider all the way to the left. Click apply and go to manage 3D settings. Here you want to copy my steps as I change them. You want to set everything in here to the same settings that I have set them on. This will give you the best performance and it won't sacrifice your graphics at all. Now, for people who like to play with their friends on Discord, you want to go inside the app and under the user settings tab, you want to find appearance 
and here you want to make sure that hardware acceleration is turned off. This is a big step if you're playing with Discord, it'll cause a lot of lag if you have this on. So if Chrome is your main browser or you just have it installed, you want to go inside it and click the three lines on the top. Click settings and under advanced you want to go to system and you want to make sure that you have continue running background apps and use hardware acceleration disabled. As you can see, without this step, even if you don't have Chrome running, it'll still run in the background and take performance away from your PC. For the next step, you want to update your GPU drivers to the latest version available. So for Nvidia users, the way you do this is you go into the search bar and type in GeForce Experience. Once you're in here, you want to click drivers and here you want to check for updates and if there is one, you will install it. So since Fortnite is a game that constantly gets updated, that means it's optimized for the latest version of Windows, not the older versions. That means you should go inside your search bar and type in Windows Update, check for updates and update it as soon as possible. Going into the next step, you want to go into the FPS Boost Pack and in the run command type in services.msc. Once you're in here, you want to look for a service named Windows Search and once you find it, you want to right click it and disable it. This service alone is responsible for the 100% disk usage issues with Windows 10. So this next step is pretty simple but I still see a lot of people even to this day running a lot of background apps while they're playing the game. So what you want to do is before you launch the game you want to disable anything running in the background. This means things like Chrome, Discord if you're not using it, Steam, etc. And when you're in the game you want to also close down Epic Games. If you usually have a lot of background apps, this step will help you get a lot more FPS than you did before. So now, you want to navigate to your bottom right and find your sound icon. Right click it and open volume mixer. You want to click the speaker or headset and then into advanced, you want to set the audio quality to the lowest one available. This won't change the audio quality whatsoever, but it will help you gain a few extra frames. And for the last step, for people that have a really shitty graphics card and struggle a lot with graphics performance, you want to right click your desktop, click personalize and set the desktop background to a solid color. The reason for this is, while you're in the game, your desktop still loads. So when you're in game and you have a 4K wallpaper, it'll still be loading and straining your GPU. However, it's a picture, so only do this if your graphics card is really really bad. Well then that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you got a lot more FPS from doing the steps inside the video, and make sure to tell us in the comments what you think of the new season, as I haven't had too much time to play around with it yet. As always, leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.